This is a fairly new piece of mine, and what I've created here are the soft edges, round radiuses. And the next series of work I'm doing is going to be all round and I call it soft edges. Uh, more feminine, maybe, <laughs> because women have round, soft edges. Oh, yes. Some of my other works are, have sharp edges, and this is my, called my sticks. It's called interweaving. As you can see, the yellow is weaving behind here, and then coming up and behind here, and coming behind and making this green center piece pop right off the wall. So it's a new shade of colors I'm using too. New palette and new soft edges. This is my puzzle, puzzle or maze series. Right now I'm, uh, I completed this and got the idea of a second one as I'm working on this. So I do a series of pieces. And I do each series different. And right now this is one of my new color palettes that I'm using. And as you can see, it's a little confusing to some people when they're looking at it because most of my work is symmetric. And what I've taken here is and made this non-symmetrical, believe it or not. As you can see, the green, we'll call it green and orange and purple and magenta. You would expect this piece to be here to repeat to make it symmetrical, which it's not now. So you got orange and you got green and you got magenta and you got purple offset. So it's not symmetrical. But what I like is the shadow that this creates because the artwork is equivalent to about a half an inch away from the canvas or my piece of masonite. Or actually what it is is medium density fiberboard using medium density fiberboard instead of cutting wood and if I used wood I'd have sawdust all over the place this I cut with a magnet with my vacuum sweeper and it looks like they float oh I guess it is floating each piece has to be numbered so it goes back in the same place but this is not for the public to see because can't let them play with my artwork should never touch artwork when you're in a museum. And this is the Nathan D. Rosen Museum Gallery, accredited museum. And this happens to be one of my favorite pieces, and I had a helper with this, by the way. A helper is my 12-year-old granddaughter who helps me occasionally. So, of all of the pieces that are here, I love his canvases, and this piece is called Music to My Eyes, which is my very favorite. Even though I am the director of the Rosen Gallery, I had nothing to do with having him here. So I want everyone to really know that because it was really Susanna Flom, who's the director, that decided that this was, would be a wonderful exhibit for him. Because uh, first of all, aside from him being my husband, he's very talented. So uh, he wanted to share, or she wanted to share, actually, all the work that he does. She is totally in love with his work. And so people that have walked in here have said, and I hear the comments, they have no idea that it's me that's with him, that they always say, it's, he's a genius, it's incredible. People have come in, they've been emailing him because they really want to meet him. So, and not, not that I realized really until he did the demonstration at the Delray Art League that he was really so talented because I did take it for granted. He was, I would always say, oh, he's painting, he's painting, he's in the garage, he's painting, they're on my walls, he's painting, yada, 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 yada. And then and when I saw him do the, the, the presentation, the slide presentation for the Delray Art League, was the moment that I really realized how talented he really was. And it is exciting and uh, sometimes challenging. <laughs> Wonderful being married to him. Hmm. The type of wood this is is called Alaskan pine fir. And what I would show children or artists, because they're almost similarly related, children and artists, what you can do with a block of wood. With a little bit of imagination and paint, you can make a three-dimensional block out of it.
Fabulous. One, one shade, one color, many shades. Or would you call it used? Used, 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 used. used. Many, one color, many, many. You mean that's not three dimensional? No. Does it look three dimensional? Yes. Let me see the back again. Ah, this is very deceptive. Thank you.